hello again. Hey, the other day we um, I posted out a video out there about uh, uh, clearing um, accrual amounts and uninvoiced receipts, and I quickly showed that you could create these rules to help facilitate the automated clearing of those uh, in uninvoiced accrual amount. I didn't go into that very deep, and so today I want to spend a little bit of time and kind of create a couple of those examples. So to create accrual clearing rules, we go into receipt accounting, and then we go into the manage accrual clearing rules. Um, pick up the business unit that we're gonna work with, and I'm gonna go ahead and clear this rule out, and we'll start from here. There's two kinds of rules that you can do. Um, there are decision tables and general rules. I'm not gonna get into decision tables today, but I will go through some simple uh, general rules that we can create. So we'll create this rule. The first thing we're going to do is do some properties. So I'll do a couple examples. One just very simple. So let's say we want to just any PO that has been closed, we want to write off um, whatever accruals uh, balances or might be left. So very simply, we create an if statement, right? So it's if um, the simple test, and we want to, um, I think it's purchase order. PO status. So the PO status is, and then we have to put it in quotes because it's uh, it's an alpha. And then the then part of this is a certain new, and it's just simply um, clear the accruals. So this is a very simple rule that says if the PO is closed, go clear the accruals um, out of the um, uninvoiced account. So a second rule, and you can do nested rules here. You can do more than one rule, so it can go through all the different rules. So let's create another rule. Again, it's a simple decision rule. And this one is gonna be a little more complex. So what I wanna do is uh, clear out any accruals where the quantity received is the same as the invoice quantity, but for some reason, maybe the amounts are different between the purchase order and the invoice. And so we just wanna clear those out. So we can go in here again, do a simple test. And I'm going to look for um, the invoice quantity. Invoice quantity. And if you're curious what's out here, you can always go here and it, you can start to drill through um, all the different variables that you can select to do these rules, right? And so I just wanna say if this is more than zero if it's greater than zero so we're gonna have to do a couple conditions here and we'll do a second one and this is received quantity received quantity is also um more than zero and we're going to do a sec another condition here where I want to say if the uh, invoice quantity, let's see, invoice QTY, Q, is equal to the received quantity. So basically what this rule says, if the invoice quantity is greater than zero and the received quantity is greater than zero, and those two are the same, which means I've, re I've, re I've invoiced what was received. Um, and if the um, accrual amount, let's see, I think it's, um, if the accrual amount difference isn't zero, I love these uh, plain English here, right? Not so I know what isn't means, right? Isn't zero. Then I'm gonna go ahead and um, clear the accrual. So again, this is a couple examples. And I mean, you can do all kinds of things. You can do percentage over under, you can do amounts over under. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can set up these automated accrual rules so that you don't have to manually clear out this accrual account. So you can run the automated process and then deal with the exceptions. And of course, you know, Oracle Cloud is all about exceptions. So um, then once you've got the rules done, you can validate them. 
And if there's no warnings on the rules, um, you can just go ahead and save and close. And then the next step would be to go out here and clear accrual balances, um, which will submit a process to run the rules. And so once you have these rules tweaked, sometimes you'll run a rule and it won't make sense. Maybe it won't work. And so sometimes it takes a little um, trial and error to get them to work. But in the end, um, automatically clearing out what you can out of that accrual account will make your job a lot easier when it comes down to dealing with the exceptions. Hope this is hope this is helpful.